What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zell back with another video. This video is going to be something a little simple. This is going to be about how I and how you could, some tips on how you can increase your blood flow if you have sickle cell, SS anemia, because that's kind of like what this video is going to be geared to, but it can also help normal people. Now, I want to first start this video out by saying that, uh, I don't, I don't take blood transfusion, so a lot of the time, like, people with sickle cell anemia, they take blood transfusions to get their, for their hemoglobin levels, so their blood levels can get up to normal, because naturally ours are down lower, like our blood oxygen level, our hemoglobin, all that, that's, that's down lower, but I don't do it, so because I don't do it, I had to find other ways to, like, increase it a natural way. To an extent, so these are some of the things that help me, and I'm gonna tell, and I'm gonna uh, give y'all some of the things y'all can do that can help, hopefully help y'all. And uh, all of them don't don't work. These are not like doctor trials or things. It's just certain certain things that I looked up that doctors told, that other health people told me that works for people like me. Who has a natural low blood level herbal remedies and things you could do physically to help yourself out all right so number one the number one thing you can do for yourself is when you wake up in the morning start stretching right because when you stretch it supplies more blood flow throughout the body and it also it also stretches out those muscles and allows more blood flow to get to those and more better blood circulation. So that's the number one thing you can do. I'm going to upload some videos about some of the stretches that I do. I'm going to show y'all some of the stretches that I do. For those of you who have sickle cell, you don't have to try. Really, period. Some of you guys don't have to try because flexibility, that's something you got to gain. You know, you don't just hop right into it. I've been doing it for a little while now. For some time now not just a little while so it's certain things that i'll be able to do that y'all won't do be able to do so when i show you this i'm gonna show y'all little steps you could do before you can ultimately be able to do some of the things that i'm going to do so that's number one stretching is key to it number two i said this in the video i can't remember like two months ago i said this in the video it's hydration so I know when you're on like when you don't have underlying illnesses, underlying illnesses, you don't need to drink as much, but you should do it too. You should be drinking at least about a gallon of water a day. Try to get like a gallon because that, especially if you got what I have, which is sickle cell anemia, because that will help you. That will help you uh help supply more oxygen throughout your body and also open up uh, open up the vessels, the blood vessels, the veins, all of that. It opens all of that up and helps your blood flow to travel through easy, more easy, so you're not getting sick as often and you're not having pain crises. So that's the second thing you want to do. And the third thing is, is certain little herbal remedies you can use for yourself. So like I take... Vitamin B complex, uh, it's a blood builder. You get it, it's this red bottle. I don't have any to show y'all right now, but hopefully I'll be able to get some and show you it the next time. It's a blood builder. It's a natural little vit herbal vitamin you could take, and it'll help to replenish some of those levels. Like right now, my hemoglobin is like 8.0. When At first, when I was young, like when I was real little, it used to just be like 5 like fours, fives, and sixes. So these things kind of like, they helped me as I kept to kept on doing them. As I continue to do this over the years, my blood has gotten better. My energy has gotten better. And hopefully these things will help you guys out. And I always made that deal with myself. I said, since I don't, I don't focus on things that I can't change. So I can't change that I have sickle cell anemia, but I can change the fact that I can make myself as healthy as possible even though i have sickle cell anemia and these three things right here they improve your blood level and all of that so stretching number one hydration and also there are herbal 
things you can do. You can also take ginger and stuff like that. I did a ginger video. You could go watch that video. And I, I think I did a garlic one too. And you can watch that garlic. It's also real good because you can catch infections easy when you have sickle cell anemia. But that's another video. But I believe I did do one about it. Do these things. And uh, comment down below. Like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to get a stretch video out for y'all. Things that I do early in the morning. Like I stretch and stuff every morning. So, uh, like and subscribe. And I'll get another video up to y'all. Party tomorrow.